Hey, it's Genevieve over here at Berks from Lexus in Appleton. Today I'm going to take a few minutes just to talk to you a little bit about the Lexus Radar Cruise Control. So what that is, in addition to just the regular cruise control that you have on the car, it's an additional radar beam that goes out in front of the vehicle to basically make a buffer to keep a safe distance from you and the car in front of you. And when this feature is active, it'll actually speed the car up and slow the car down all on its own without you doing anything if you come too close to another vehicle or if another vehicle moves in front of you and is too close to the car. So I'm just gonna show you the buttons that you gotta push to turn that on. And if you got any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'm happy to answer them. Here we go. So first, how you turn your cruise control on is this cruise control toggle here. It's actually been the same toggle in every car, in every Lexus vehicle since 1989. They have not changed this system. So if you're watching this and you have a Lexus vehicle, this is going to be what your cruise control looks like. So it's just this little toggle right here. You can see on the other side of it is where the on and off button is um, on the side part of the toggle. So I just push the system on and then there will be turn my flash off now um, a little indicator light that comes up right here that just lets you know that your cruise control is on and this car has that radar cruise control on it which is why it's already saying radar ready Let me move my phone a little closer so you can see right up right up there in the upper left hand corner or upper right hand corner that's where the cruise is so then once my cruise control is on so how it initially works is you just accelerate to the speed that you want to go to and when you're at that speed you just push down on the toggle and that has you set now this button that's right here on the steering wheel that is the button that we're going to use to actually adjust the distance, that buffering dis distance that I was talking about um, between you and the car in front of you. It's all gonna be done with this little guy right here. So when the cruise control is active and it's turned on already, once I start pushing this button, you're gonna see a little picture of a car. Let me just zoom it in a little bit better. You're gonna see a little picture of a car that comes up and there's three lines in front of that car. And every time I push my that little car button that I showed you on the steering wheel, it's going to change from three car lengths to two car lengths to one car length. And that is actually what those lines represent, just a distance, basically a car length in front of you. So that's going to keep a really big buffer distance between you and the vehicle in front of you, a little bit less of one, and then a, just a single car length distance. You also have the option as well, if you would like to drive the car without the without that radar cruise control, you can actually push this forward where it says mode at the top and pushing it forward is just cycling from regular cruise control to the radar cruise control. So you got that feature in there, it speeds you up, slows you down, it would actually all, 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 excuse me, also slow you down to a stop um, if the car in front of you actually came to a complete stop as well. So that's just a little bit about the radar cruise. If you got any questions, let me know.